this is what we're up against here. It's about two or so hours up the mountain. We're hoping to get up there before the sun comes up. And you'll have to excuse my excitement on this one. I have wanted to explore this place in the dark since like 2005 when I was just a little kid jumping around. I feel like a little kid again. I am so excited about exploring this place at night. Yeah. Well, it's dark, I'll give you that. It's oh, yeah. kind of what you expect for this time in the morning. We just came through the main entrance way here and then the path splits off right and left. We're gonna take the right path. Also, I should note that it's actually not this bright in here. It, it's really, it's just the camera. <laughs> Can't believe this camera, man. There's no way I would have been able to film anything like this like 10 years ago. I think I actually have some footage from it getting dark in Fushimi Inari. Really? And it just didn't look good. I've never seen these signs before. Wow, okay. So if we see monkeys, we probably, they, you won't see monkeys. One of the really fun things about Fushimi Inari is there are all these little off paths or alcoves for you to go around and explore. There's way too many for me to have explored them all. A lot of them are really small and simple like this, but worth a little visit nonetheless. Fushimi Nari is one of those places that I've always wondered what it would be like to explore completely empty. I've gotten it near empty. Have you ever been here without people? No, no, I've always visited during the day. The first time I was here in 2005, it was almost empty. Mm -hmm. I came during the evening and oh, wow. went down at night. And going down at night, this way the path is very clear, right? Mm -hmm. But going the opposite way, the path kind of splits. Yeah. And when you're in the dark, it's tough to tell which way to go. So basically everything else is back this way and Mount Inari and thankfully restrooms are gonna be this way. Also, I don't remember having all these go this way and way back signs. You know, I think people getting confused here might have been a problem before. The first time I had no idea which way to go. And it looks like the bathrooms are only open from 7.30 a.m. to 4.20. That's a weird... They're gated. Yeah. They're legit gated. They're just closed right up. Why? Why are they closed for like... Three hours and ten minutes. That's just a really weird amount of time to have the bathrooms closed for. What was that? Yeah. Wait. It's definitely, you heard that, right? Yeah, I heard that. I it heard is that. definitely coming from, okay, it's probably a monkey, dude. It probably has to be, You yeah. saw the signs? Let's keep moving. Okay. No monkeys today. <laughs> nope. I'm not, <laughs> no, I'm not monkeys. dealing with monkeys today. Just, <laughs> especially some of the monkeys out here can be really, really aggressive. So as yeah. cute as they are, wow, that's beautiful over there. We've got another alcove over here, and this one's actually a really nice one, so let's go check it out. I will say they keep this area really well lit, even at night. But you feel like you've discovered a hidden area. Obviously, it's not hidden. Anybody can come up here, but it's got the feels, that's for sure. Victor, are you ready for the real creepy part? Yeah, what's up? What's with that? What's creepy? There's, there's a guy over there. I heard I heard like a bag rumbling, but I thought yeah. it was like a monkey or something. And all, no, he's doing, all he's doing is just like this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it looks like it was a bit of a shortcut. We probably would have come up from there. There we go this way. It is not that bright out, by the way. Like we can't see, can't see that. It's just, no. it's just pure darkness. Everything looks more like this to us, but let's ramp up there. This 
this is everything I thought it was gonna be. It is quickly climbing to the top of my recommendation charts to check this place out at night. Between the light cutting through, the moon up in the sky and everything, this is just spectacular. Victor, what do you think, man? Is it worth it? It's more than I could have asked for, to be honest. You never imagined to have a place like this entirely to yourself. Yeah. It's just, wow. And now, in addition to monkey warnings, we also have boar warnings, so double the fun. One of the most obvious merits of visiting during the day would be that these shops and whatnot are open, but there are also no shortage of vending machines on the mountain either. Did you hear the owl? Yeah, yeah, totally. Some of these shops here, you can also get your name and the date and whatnot handwritten on a small toady shrine like this one here. This is a little bit bigger, but they do have smaller ones. High tech, automatic lights. I cannot overstate how impressed I am with the effort they put into lighting everything. This is not what I was expecting. No, not at Coming out here this time. Yeah. No. It's a short timer. <laughs> it's like Victor's never seen a light before that just automatically. Yeah. Expecting everything to be pitch black, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Oh, we're already at one of my favorite viewpoints. Yeah. Victor noticed a shooting star in that, that sky shot that I just took there. And I'm just lucky, what can I say? But the question is, before I showed you, did you notice it? The goal was to go up in the dark and come down with a little more light. That way we get to experience both sides of it. And now we're racing the sun. <laughs> it's a view you get from this space here. And it has the added confusion of not just one, not just two, but three different routes that you can go from here. This map of the potential possible routes in Fushimi Inari is a pretty good representation of why I say you can spend an entire day here. Don't sell yourself short on the amount of time you give yourself. Yeah, don't try to rush this place. No. So which way do you think we should go? Left or right? Well, can't go wrong by going right. <laughs> uh, uh, <coughs> yeah. I mean, I just, I'll be here moving all day. On. And as soon as we get back into the Tory gates, it's dark again. Loving the mix of blue and orange as the sky starts to light up. It's, it really looks nice coming through here. Also, this light is a bit of a vibe. <laughs> it's, it's Victor, Victor's not enjoying it. Moving yeah. on. <laughs> How long did we spend in that tunnel? Like no more than five minutes. <laughs> what? It's like... <sighs> At least we're close to the top. What? Okay, so that that particular stretch of Tori Gates is, is just a mystery. We're almost at the top. This, this has just been a lot of stairs. <laughs> The one thing I've always wished about this mountain is the top wasn't just like like this that we could that you could actually like see the view from the top of the mountain. But with Fushimi Inari, it's really about that experience of walking through the tunnels of Tori Gates and finding all those hidden paths off to the side. And this place is really an adventure in its own. That's why this is to this date by far still one of my favorite places in the entire country. Dude, I think I found one of my favorite spots and I totally forgot about it. Have you been through here? No. It's not quite a waterfall, so don't get too excited. There's a, there's a bucket. <laughs> what? It's the famous Fushimi Inari pipe bucket. <laughs> 
Alright, so um, the little waterfall thing I told you about. Finally found it, but the only way you can see this area at all is with the night vision and its little night vision light. The camera does nothing. Because these are such a beautiful bright orange, but... You know, the camera just ruins it. I'd rather you not see it than see it like this. I'll get a better camera someday and come back.